Assalamualaikum students. Now uh, today we are starting a new chapter that is three precious packet. As you know, the theme for this chapter, uh, these two lessons are folk stories. So this is one of the another folk story written by Cyril Bridge. And in short, the summary of this story is in this excerpt, a poor student seeks refuge in a village in one cold evening. When night falls, a stranger arrives at the inn. The stranger appears to be poorer than the student. Filled with pity for the man, the student offers him his food and his bed. Soon the student realizes that the stranger was not an ordinary man. He was an envoy from the underworld. The envoy tells the student that he is grateful for his kindness. So now we are starting our chapter. A poor student whose name was New was once traveling to the capital city for appearing in examination. He decided to stay overnight in a village inn. It was the depth of winter, bitterly cold. Bitterly cold, very cold. Snow fell steadily from a leaden sky, okay? So the snow fell steadily, that means firmly from a sky, uh, which is looked like, uh, which is, has a color of lead. That is, it was a grave because of the cloud. New rejoiced the warmth and comfort inside the inn. And when he come inside, he rejoiced, that means enjoyed uh, the warmth and comfort. He start toasting himself, that means he start uh, he said toasting himself that means he started making himself warm before a charcoal brazier and ordered a hot soup and dumpling for his supper while waiting for the food to arrive he drove the chill from inside with a bowl of hot tea he drove the chill from inside that means he make himself comfortable warm with a bowl of hot tea soon he felt a pleasant glow suffuse in his whole body. Suffuse means infuse, okay? So soon he felt, start feeling warm, uh, start feeling warm and the brief one in winter daylight. Now we are sharing the next slide. Yes, the brief winter daylight was almost gone when a man knocked on the door and was admitted, stumbling. Stumbling means uh, he's not uh, walking uh, straight, clumsily into the inn. He was poorer than new. His cloth was almost thin cotton rag. That means rough or you can say rag means not proper, which was no proof against the half uh, keen weather and the uh, his clothes were not uh, exact it cannot protect him from the severe weather his cheeks were pinched and he moved stiffly as though half prison and he was feeling so cold that he become uh, he was uh, stiff like a statue his limbs were too numb to allow him to speak because he was too cold he was uh, unable to speak but he cringed before new. Cringed means he humbly said before new. Obviously, pleading to allow to share the warmth of brazier. That means he was asking, begging him to share the warmth of that brazier. Brazier is the iron pot which contains the hot coal, charcoal, burning charcoal. New quickly made a place for him and the man stretched his hand eagerly toward the glowing charcoal and began to thaw out gradually. And then man started warming himself in the front of that glowing charcoal. The landlord brought new supper, the steam from which tickled the nostril with a delicious smell. Then he turned to the red newcomer and asked what he could do for him. So the when landlord brought the new supper, uh, he also asked that newcomer that what he could do for him and he asked only for a cup of bowl of tea and a place on the floor for the night, said the man. 
and the landlord grunted that means he mumbles and went off to fetch the treat new was filled with pity for this poor stranger that he was not uh, new was feeling very bad for this poor stranger he pressed on him his own supper that means he pressed on him means he forced him to eat his supper and when the landlord come back order more for himself the stranger gulped down the soup and dumpling in no time at all and new ordered noodles to follow and the stranger gulped down that means he eat quickly the soup and dumplings in no time at all and new after watching him he also ordered noodles for him i have no money to pay for them said the man but new insisted that he should accept them and in no time five bowls of you know, noodles had disappeared in the way the soup had and the man made it clear that he did not have any money but new insisted and he kept uh, asking for the food and that's how new has uh, had given him five bowl of noodles and which he also eat it very which he also eat it very quickly ate very quickly which also he ate very quickly when they retired to rest new tried to give up his own bed for the stranger to sleep on but the man wouldn't accept it he lay down on the floor at the foot of the bed and slept emptily as if proof his satisfaction with the supper he had eaten he snored like a bull all through the night and after all these thing he insisted that he should have his bed also but the poor man refused to accept this uh, favor and he slept at the floor and after a good supper he slept immediately as dawn was breaking he was brought into wakefulness by someone gently shaking his shoulder it was the stranger who gazed at him who gazed gazed me stared with eye full of affection please come outside with me he said i have something to say to you wondering that one thinking new pulled on his board boots and followed the man out of the door of the inn in the cold gray light the stranger turned to him and said i'm not a human being but an envoy envoy means messenger from the underworld seeing news look of fear he added hastily hurriedly he said don't worry i have not come for you that means he was not the angel of death but i'm very grateful for your kindness to me last night but i am thankful for your kindness the way you have treated me last night and the story ends here it's not exactly the whole story but a piece of that story that's it for today thank you students